Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? So far, so good. Excellent. How was your day? Like always, um, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I imagine that. And the rest of you guys, how do you feel? How are you today? Uh huh. Hey, with full energies. Ah, very good. You can share your energies with with Kevin. I wish with him. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> very good, very good. So welcome, guys. I'm happy to see you. The rest of you guys, I can see Kevin Alfredo. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Uh, today I worked um, at home office and because yesterday I was so tired because I went to our distributor. Uh, I work in Alas Doradas and in a pico and product. What happened? In a pico. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we send product to our distributor in Santa Tecla. All right. Mm -hmm. So you the company you on the cho los chorros. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then um I go I went to my house uh, so tired because uh, for this reason I I I was like a listener. I yes. imagine, yeah, you had a very busy day, but that's good that you are here today, ready to participate, right? Yes, teacher. Excellent, that's the attitude, so welcome, welcome to the class, and do you prefer home office, or do you prefer to go to your office? Home office, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in, my, uh, in my opinion, teacher, is... Uh, both are, are have excuse me both have uh, advantages or disadvantages mm -hmm. things and i i feel that i can resolve problems uh, better the mejor manera in a better mm -hmm. way in a better way is staying in in my work in physically. your office okay but uh, the advantage uh, work in in my house is I rest I rest more absolutely I mean <laughs> absolutely. you don't need to wake up early you don't need to travel you avoid the traffic yeah perfect, perfect. <laughs> that's true that's true you want to take the shower you don't... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You don't have to take... the shower is optional, but I recommend <laughs> you to always take it, please. We are, we are like Europeans. I think it is optional. <laughs> he, I was watching a video that um, it was a guy asking to a girl, hey, how often do you take a shower? And she says, the normal once a week and i was like what the normal and for us it's too scandalous here with that yeah I imagine. because we do that every day because we're yeah. in a tropical uh country so yeah it's, so... It's maybe, she, maybe she lives in canada or Actually, she, was, like she was european and you know oh. i understand because in some countries in europe the water is not so abundant right they have few uh, opportunities to take showers because the lack of water so maybe that's why but <laughs> it's pretty funny i mean i cannot imagine myself taking a shower only once a week oh my gosh i mean no impossible but well, we need to be thankful, guys. We live in Latin America, yeah, but at least we can we have, have this a lot advantage of and advantage, like having water every day, yeah. <laughs> almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, right? So we have to be thankful. But anyway, thank you guys for being on time. Thank you for the one who has the camera on. I'm waiting for everyone. I hope that you can turn on the camera, please. It's Tuesday, and I don't know why I was thinking that it was Wednesday, but no, it's Tuesday. So today, guys, we are going to have a lot of practice, as always, so I hope that you are ready to participate, okay? Now, I'm going to start uh, sharing the presentation. Let's see, let's see. Oh, right. Can you see the presentation, everybody? This is still uh, charging. Uh, okay. Teacher, may I ask, um, tomorrow will be the last uh, class from the third or the fourth unit? No, today is the last class for the second unit. Tomorrow we start the unit number three. Um. Okay. Yes. Okay, I understand. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. So um, put it in this way, guys. Um, well, let's see. Let me see if I can check. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. And I want to share with you a calendar so it will be easier to explain you. Look at this. Let me open up the calendar. Okay, look at this. This is a calendar and, uh, um, well, I'm going to wait. Can you see the calendar? Yes? Yes. Okay, so today is the 29th, right? We are here. So today yes. we are ending the unit number two. Normally, in the intermediate levels, <clears throat> sorry, the unit number two is a little bit longer, okay? Because we have a lot of practice because we have the midterm. So tomorrow, that is 30, remember that we started our course on Wednesday. So you had to count every Wednesday is like a new week. So tomorrow mm -hmm. we start the unit number three. Next Wednesday, we start the other week. So when, next Wednesday, we are going to start the unit number four. That is basically the last one. So next Wednesday, we are going to start basically the last week okay okay mm -hmm. so if everything goes well we will be finishing our level um if i'm not wrong on september 12th that is going to be like our last day if everything goes well got it yes so by the September 12th, everybody, the platform has to be done, all right? So in this moment, um, from tomorrow, you can start working in the unit number three, okay? By the next Wednesday, September 6th, the unit number three has to be done. So you can start working in the unit number four, that is the last one. And by September 12th, the unit number four has to be done. Okay? That is basically our calendar. That's the way that we are going to be working. Any questions so far? Is it clear? Yes? No I questions? It's clear. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So... I know that it's a little bit confusing, and the reason is because we didn't start on Monday, right? It is easy to count when the first day is Monday, but right now for us, we started on Wednesday, so that's why uh, the count is a little bit weird. But anyway, today, guys, is August 29th, so we are about to finish August, and the topic for today midterm review 
and practice. So as I mentioned before, today we are going to have a lot of practice about all the topics that we have been studying, about the vocabulary that we have been practicing. So I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Uh -huh. Only one, please. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, Midterm review and practice. Class object objective. At the end of this class, participants will review topics covered during the course. Very good. So we are going to cover the most important topics, the most important vocabulary. So I hope that you are ready, guys, to participate. I hope that you remember the topics that we have been studying. So let's start. Um, let's see, which vocabulary do you remember, guys, from all the classes that we have had? Which words, which vocabulary do you remember? Let's see. Uh -huh. Brick and mortar store. Very good. That's a good one. What else? Okay. Identity theft. Okay. Very good. Bend the rules. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Anything else? Remember Scratch. from the whole class. <laughs> what else? Very good, very good. What else? Skeptical. Very good. Damage. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the first week over there in the unit number one. Do you remember what were we talking about in the unit number one? A lot of reported speech. Online shopping. Reported speech. What else? Online shopping. Ah, very good. And when we shop online, that has a specific name. Do you remember it? E-commerce. Ah, very good. The e-commerce. What else? Another E. Uh-huh. Business and commerce. Uh-huh, very good. So let's start with that one. Let's go back to the unit number one. So we were talking about e-commerce. Do you remember what the meaning is, e-commerce? What is it? What is the definitions for e-commerce? With your own words, it's not necessary to have like... And a store online. They okay. are transaction online. Ah, very good. Stores online. So basically, is when you shop or sell online. Can you tell me some of the advantages for e-commerce? Mm, anyone can start uh, e-commerce. Anyone can start an e-commerce. Okay, Carlos, what do you say? Uh, a store online. Okay, the store is online. Don't limit geographic. Ah, very good. You don't have geographical limits. Very good. Anything mm -hmm. else that comes to your mind? Uh huh. You can reach a lot of uh, customers. Okay, sounds good. How about the disadvantages? You can lose your product in the shipments. You, yes, you can lose the product, right? Mm -hmm. What else? I think this is a disadvantage, but I'm sure uh, anyone can start a new uh, e-commerce because it's so easy to build it. Yes. So that means, guys, that you will have a lot of competitors. But also remember, not everybody is 
very honest in their businesses, right? So we can have some uh, dishonest people and we can buy them some products and you will never receive it, right? Another disadvantage? What do you think? Uh, you don't have the loyalty of your consumers. Very good. your customers. Yes, that's a good one. Do you remember another one? Uh huh. All right. Maybe the connection. <laughs> ah, Maybe. yes. What happens if you don't have internet? You cannot do it, right? No internet connection. You don't have e-commerce. Okay, let's remember the next one. The e-businesses. Do you remember that one? Yeah. What is the difference? It's... What is the difference between e-commerce and e-businesses? An e-commerce is an a businesses, but uh, a businesses. Not all e-businesses are e-commerce. Ah, okay. And you guys, what do you think? What is the difference between e-commerce and e-businesses? Commerce is for customers and e-business is for another uh, business. Ah, can you tell me some of the activities that I can do in the e-businesses? Mm, services. Like what? Like mm, what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> For example, um, in e-commerce, it means that you can buy or sell. Mm -hmm. But yes. in e-businesses, imagine, guys, if I need to pay my, uh, my college, okay? Can I do it? Yes, with the bank. Can I pay the bills in the e-business? Yes. 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 Uh, teaching online, do you think that is part of the e-commerce or the e-businesses? E-businesses, because it's a service. So, look, that is the difference. E-commerce, it's only buy and sell. So, when we are talking about specifically some product. But when we are talking about e-businesses, guys, um, those are all those transactions that you can do online. You can pay different bills. You can work from your computer, right? So if businesses is like more extense, right? What could be some of the advantages for the e-businesses? What do you think? They don't need to a physical place. Mm, yeah. For the owners, that's a good idea. That's a good advantage. You don't have to pay the bills Rent. for renting a building. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Advantages? Maybe you have to pay less people. Let's um. No, I I forget the name. Mm, workers. <laughs> Employees. Oh, yes. All right, but think about you guys as users. Do you think that do you have any advantages of doing e businesses? For yes. example, think yes. about paying the bills. Do you have some advantages about it? Yeah, it's more easy to do it online. Do you need to go to the bank? Uh, do you need to stay in the line and waiting for a lot of time? You only have to remember your password. <laughs> exactly. So in this case, it's easy, right? What else? Another advantages? Uh, you can use it anywhere. Okay. You can use it anywhere. Yes. Carlos, what do you think? In any time, in any time, 24 7. Yes. Imagine if you are like sleeping, but suddenly you remember that you had to pay. <laughs> so immediately you can take your phone and you can do it. 
Now, how about some of the disadvantages of the e-businesses? What do you think? If you don't have internet, you can do what you want. <laughs> That's true. That's you can true. use it. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh huh. When you get when your user is blocked. Ah, very good. That's another one. What happens if your user is blocked? Nothing you can do, right? Uh huh. What else? Uh huh. Transaction declining. Ah, very good. Imagine, guys, that you are trying to pay, but your card is declined. Sorry, you need to go to the bank. Very good. Now, the last E that we studied is e-learning. Do you remember the e-learning, everyone? Uh -huh. Yes, we are in <laughs> an e-learning company. Yes, we are. And you tell me, think about you as students, all right? Because, guys, you have been studying online, but also you studied face-to-face. -face. So what advantages can we find in the e-learning, you mm -hmm. as students? You avoid uh, to be uh, exposed on the streets late at night. Good. Yes, imagine if you had to travel to your home at 10 p.m. That is the time when the class is over. I mean, it's very dangerous. Oh, I, I have to pace uh, next to the bar. You had to what? I have to uh, take a little rest in the bar. <laughs> yeah, and that is something good or bad for you? It's something good. <laughs> we need to we need to drink some uh like water but it's not a water i know i know so well <laughs> that's depend on the point of view but that's another one what else you as a student guys another advantages that you can find about the schedule, the schedule. uh-huh why for example, uh, the other places in the right now is, are closed. Yes. Actually, imagine, guys, face-to-face -face classes. I don't think that they have presentials classes, in the right? Of the McGregor. In this... Okay, be careful with the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it's very difficult to find a school or an academy, right, that is giving classes from 8 to 10 p.m. in yes. the building, right? So, mm -hmm, that's another advantage. What else? Uh -huh. uh, advantage teacher, a uh, digital update. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine, guys, do you need to pay for the books? No. They are free. Right. You have the manual in your computer, so you don't need to pay for it. Um, do you need to, you know, dress very formal <laughs> during the class? Yes, <laughs> we had. Well, some of you, right? I know that some yes. of you are okay. <laughs> dressed. Okay, but imagine in this case, I know that some of you are not wearing shoes, right? You can be nicely with your flip-flops, like comfortable. That is something that you cannot do in a presential class. And <laughs> how about the disadvantages? You as a student, which disadvantages have you faced during the e-learning? We can suffer some power outage, internet outage. Yes, that is one of the most common, right? When the light's out, nothing you can do, you cannot receive the class. 
If your internet connection is not working, you cannot receive the class. What else? Uh huh. Any other disadvantages? Um, in, in my case, uh, uh, I have two little girls in my house, and then I, then I, they are um, uh, talking and running around. My ah, so it's making it's noise. <laughs> That's why I I keep in turn on and turn off the camera because okay. I. Yeah, it's difficult, right? So imagine that some of the disadvantages. Is it difficult to concentrate? If you are at home, especially if you have kids, it will be more difficult to concentrate than if you were in a classroom, right? So if you see guys different advantages and disadvantages about the e-commerce, e-businesses and e-learning. Is it clear? Yes, it is. Yes. yes. Pretty good. Yes. All right. Now, before continuing reviewing the next topic, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Amanda Zamora Miranda. It's Ana not... Lorena Lovato. I'm sorry. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Irma, did you say something? Yes, Amanda was working. Uh -huh. and I think she's there. Okay, thanks for telling me. Thank you. All right, um, Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. And Elias Neftali Martinez. Okay, Eulice Torres Torres. Um, Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Present. All right. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Josman Atilio Serrano. Okay, Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Very good. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose Siguenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. All right. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. All right. Wilber Alberto Pérez. I can see his listener. Okay, very good. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Present. Excellent, very good. All right, let's continue. Let's see how much you remember from the topics that we have been studying. If you remember, we checked some vocabulary, for example, shipping fees. So I will be asking individually, only the person I ask, only the person answers, please. Um, let me ask to, 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 oops, oops, oops. Nelson, Nelson, what is the meaning of keeping fees? What is that? Nelson, you there? Uh, hello, yes. Shipping fees. Uh, it's, it's similar to delivery. Okay. Do you agree, everyone? The, price. the charge the price. of the delivery of the product. Ah, very good. Exactly. When you ask for a product, 
In some companies, they say that the shipping is free, but not all the time, right? Good. Next one, let me ask to Rafael. Rafael Alexander, what is the meaning of inaccurate sizing? Uh huh. What is that? Sorry, I was. I'm sorry. Um, uh, estaba lejos del teclado. Ah, okay. Okay. What's the question, teacher? What is the meaning of inaccurate size? Okay. When the I think, uh, when I buy a, a, a I think, uh, expecting a. Uh, size, but mm -hmm. I receive a different size. Correct. And that is especially with the clothes. Clothes, yes. shoes. Shoes. Imagine you, you bought a size L and you receive an S. <laughs> so it's totally the incorrect size. Very good. Very good. Next one, um, Pamela, what is the meaning of misleading product descriptions? Um, I think that it's when, when the product, um, it's not the same of the descriptions that you read when you, when you shop the product. Mm -hmm. That's good. Sometimes you can read in the description, right? Some characteristics, but then when the product arrives, <laughs> it's not what you expected, right? Very good. Next one, let me ask. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Carlos Ernesto. Hello, Carlos. Hello. What is the meaning of Payment issues. Mm, when uh, there is a problem when I pay, for example, maybe um, problem the plastic in the credit card when the post or not found in the credit card. Yes, mm. very good. So everything related, guys, with payments when you cannot do it, when there is for any reason, right? You cannot continue the process of payment. That is payment issues. Very good. And the last one, let me ask to Ana Lorena. Ana, what is the meaning of poor packaging? Maybe when the package is not perfectly or broken or uh, maybe uh, damage. Very good. Just imagine, guys, that you buy something fragile <laughs> and when you open the package, it's totally destroyed. So that means that it was a poor packaging. Very good. Very good. Now, according to the previous vocabulary, if you remember, guys, we studied some of the reasons that some people use to return a product. What could be some reasons for the customer return a product? Faulty. Which one? Faulty. Okay, when the when the uh, product is faulty, what else? Another reason Crap. to return a product? When the when product doesn't crack. work. When a product doesn't work, yes. Maybe incorrect description or incomplete product. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else? Incorrect size. Yes, exactly. What else? Crack it. When the product is cracked. The product didn't, didn't meet the expectation. Very good. When the product doesn't meet your expectations. Any other reason, guys, that comes to your mind? The perfection of the product or the fabric. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else? Think about you as a customer. Missing what parts. could be a reason? 
missing parts. Yes. Uh huh. So you as a customer, what will you return a product? What do you think? What could be a reason for you? Product broken or spoiled. Very good. Mm -hmm. Incorrect product. An incorrect product, correct? That's a good one. So all the reasons that you provided, guys, are correct. Imagine if you receive the incorrect size, that's a good reason to return a product. When the product doesn't work, as your classmate said, when there are some missing parts, when you receive the wrong product, maybe the product is working perfectly, but it is not the ones that you ask. Imagine you bought an iPhone and you receive an Android. <laughs> that is totally the wrong product. Also, when the product didn't meet the expectations, right? It doesn't do all the things that the description said, or maybe the product doesn't match the description. The description said that the product will be small, but when you receive it, it's big or the opposite. So these are some of the reasons why some customers return a product. Now, if you receive a package or a product, when the product is damaged, which adjectives can we use to describe the reason why you want to return the product? Faulty. Some of you, uh huh, you say faulty. What else? Another adjective that Cracked. comes to your mind? Scratch. Cracked. Scratch. Uh huh. Scratch. Incomplete. 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 Mm -hmm. Unsatisfactory. Very good. All of the words that you said are adjectives. Adjectives that you can use to explain or describe the reason why you want to return the product. So, what is the meaning for faulty? When it's uh, damaged, but it's not physical, maybe. Mm -hmm. so when the product yeah. doesn't work uh, properly. Very good, exactly. And damage, what is damage? Broken. Very good. Damage is more like broken, right? It's something that you can easily see. And what is the difference between cracked and scratched? Maybe the size of the damage. Ah, very good. So incomplete, well, it's pretty obvious, right? When there are some missing parts. And unsatisfactory when the product doesn't meet your expectations. So is it clear, the vocabulary, everyone? Yes. Yes? yes Remember that this is just yes. a quick review. This is vocabulary that we already studied, so I hope that you remember. Now, as always, we are going to have some speaking practice. Right now, we are going to have some role plays, okay? In the first role play, one of you is going to be the customer and the other one is going to be the support representative or the sales representative. So you as a customer, you have to imagine, okay, that you receive a product yesterday, okay? But when you open the box, you can see that the product that you have has a huge crack. Okay, so that means that the product is cracked. Now, you have to call to customer service, all right? And you have to ask, you can ask for a refund or for an exchange. I don't know, you decide. And the guy, guys, you as a support representative, you need to provide a solution for the customer. Okay, you have to explain. You can, if you can give the refund, give the refund. But if you can give the refund, try to offer something else. Remember, instead of a refund, what else can we offer? Do you remember the previous role plays that we had? What else? What else can we offer instead of the refund? Discount. 
a discount. Yes, you can offer a discount for the next purchase. Hmm, but what else? Evolution and money. Mm -hmm, but that is a refund. Mm -hmm. Imagine that the customer doesn't want the refund. What else can we offer? Exchange. Exchange. We can offer an exchange. Yes. Another idea, guys. Do you think that we can offer some vouchers? Voucher store? Yes, very good. So that is the first role play. Now, here you can use your imagination, okay? Imagine that instead of saying that the product is cracked, you can say that the product is faulty or that the product is damaged, all right? You can invent, use your imagination. And as a support representative, invent. I just wanted to provide a solution that makes the customer happy. Is it clear, the first role play, everyone? Yes. Yes? Yes, it is. Good. Yes, it is. Now, in the second role play, remember that you can switch, okay? If your partner was customer in the first one, in the second one, your classmate can be support representative. So in the second role play, the customer, imagine that you bought a cell phone or invent another product. You can change, okay? But what happens here is that the product is not the ones, I mean, you receive a wrong product because it's not the model that you wanted, okay? So it is not the product that you expect. So in this case, you want a refund. However, and here guys, we are going to remember the policies. Do you remember the policies and guarantees? Yes? A little yes. bit? Yes, I do. So imagine that when you open the package, you destroy the package. So now you call to customer service explaining that the cell phone is not the ones that you ask for. You guys, as a customer representative, um, you need to explain the customer that you cannot give them the refund and you have to explain the policy. Do you remember guys what the policy says about a, a destroy package? Can you receive the refund if you destroy the box? No. No, no you can't. No, right? So imagine the customer is asking you to ban the company's policy, right? Like, can you ban the rules, please? Can you make an exception? But you have to explain the customer that you can't. Now, try to offer something else. Okay, you can try to offer maybe some vouchers. You can try to compensate, um, give them some discount for the next purchase, maybe. I don't know, invent. Okay, that's the Etsy role place. Uh -huh. Can you offer the exit door? Well, if you want. <laughs> and depending, look at these guys. Remember that you are the support representative. If your customer is very nice with you, I mean, you can try to help, right? You can try to give more. But depending on the attitude that your customer have, you can make different decisions. Understood? Is it clear, the role plays, everyone? Yes. Yes. All right. I'm going to send the role plays on WhatsApp's group, and we are going to be in the breaking rooms um, please, everybody, I want to everybody participate. Uh, we are going to be in teams. So here, guys, I want you to feel free to participate. Remember that you can even pick someone. One of you can be um, like the customer. One of you can be even the supervisor, right? You can call the supervisor and say, Explain the situation and let's see if the supervisor can provide another solution, okay? But I want to everybody participate. Again, guys, if there is someone in your group that is like shy or maybe doesn't want to participate, 
try to motivate them, okay? Motivate them and help them to speak because the idea is that everybody speak. Now, let me just open up the groups. Remember, zero Spanish. Try to use the vocabulary that we have been practicing. And if you are in a group where nobody is talking or if you are alone, let me tell it, tell me and I will switch you to another team. Understood? Yes? Is everybody yes, ready? Yes, yes. It's, ne it's necessary electronic bill. Uh, you can invent. I mean, the role play is just an example. You can change the products. You can change the ideas too. Okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, everybody, let's go to work. Okay, nice to see you guys. Okay, okay maybe star. Wait, dear roll number one. Um, uh, do you want a star you boat or one with me? Um, I don't know. I this day I have a uh, a lot of work and I don't pay attention. Sorry, but if you want, for me it's okay. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, Jose Salvador. Hello. Hello. Do you want to start at the first or second? Right. I will try. Okay. Do you want uh -huh. a customer? Okay. With Rafael? Okay. Uh, what do you want? Uh, customers or sports? Jose, say customers. Customer. Okay. I am the support representative in this case. <laughs> yes. Hello, Mr. Uh, how are you? Hello. Hello. Uh, okay. can, may I help you? Yes, I need help. Ah, what is the problem, sir? Yesterday, I received a product. Okay. But when I opened, uh, is damage. Oh, that's a problem. What what is the damage uh in, in the product? The product is you grab down the center. Center. Oh yes. Uh is the package good? Oh, is the package damaged too? Excuse me, repeat please. Uh, is the package uh, damaged too? Hello? Hello. Yes, uh, I say uh, is the package damaged too? Or the package ha uh, has in, uh, in a good condition? Uh, the package is is good. Yes. But the product is... And in the police in this moment, is that you uh, as a present the store? Because I reviewed the product and in this case, I uh, placed the product. No problem in that situation. And this moment, a procedure. And in this moment, uh, your information in the system. 
and tomorrow uh, solution the problem. This is no problem, Ian, sorry for the situation that the result product. Okay, so I, I will have a new TV. Will I have yeah, a new TV? exactly. Okay. Exactly, and... this is the, the similar model or, or other model you depend on to your situation. Okay, thank you. And you said that um, I will receive uh, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I will exactly. receive tomorrow. Okay, exactly. thank you. Uh, okay, uh, thank please, you. please, uh, the Arrivai the store. Uh, for my name is Manzarano. I your attention in the store and the process the the solution the problem. Okay. 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 I I really thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, good no. night. So, um, can you uh, tell me how much it will be if you repair it? Yes, um, really I need to see the the damage on your cell phone because it, uh, if I don't have or oh, I can see the, the really damage in your product, I can... I can give I can give you a forecast, and I don't know how much uh, you you will need to pay us for this solution. Uh, can you uh, bring the product uh, on the afternoon? Yes, of course, but. First, um, can you tell me the address where I, where you are? Uh, yes, we are in the center park uh, next to the church. You can see a green local and we have uh, cell phones and computer in, in our cartel. A banner in, sign, in our banner in our banner you can see cell phones and computers and it's enough for uh, the address okay okay i understand i will give i will um take the bus and go to the to your um to your um office and like in two hours i'll be i'll, I'll be there my laptop because uh, 1050 no 1000 uh, 500 dollars okay <laughs> you will get a new <coughs> a new uh discount for the next uh visit here sir so uh don't worry for that and uh, here is your new laptop sir uh, with yeah. three years of guarantee and in your next purchase keys, uh, you will get a uh, 50% uh, in discounts for your purchase. Okay, I agree. Okay, sir. <laughs> I'm glad to help you and I don't know if you have another uh, situation or we finish with this. No, 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 I know the situation or all that, the the problems on my okay, life. Sir. Yeah. Thank you for coming and we wait we waited for you early. No problem. No problem. Thank you for attending attending me. <laughs> you attending me. It's a pressure, sir. Bye. Okay. Bye. Issue. Uh, so uh, I think this is not charged in your invoice because uh, this product uh, is missing in okay. your purchase. Okay, thank you, I win. Okay, it's a pleasure. Now you can practice, Carlos. Yes. Okay. You are, you are a customer, you? Yes. Okay. 
Okay. Um, hi, Mr. Carlos. Um, I'm here because uh, my phone is cracked. And when I received this phone, uh, you didn't show me out of the box. But when I ask, when but when I open the box, uh, I see this form crack. Can you help me with this, please? Uh, hello, Edwin. Um, my name is uh, Carlos Dominguez. Uh, I I see the issue in this moment. Uh, you can repeat the. Uh, uh, your name? So my name is Erwin Quinteros. Okay. Uh, what your day uh, receive the product? I'm so sorry. I, I think you can understand me. Can you repeat that, please? Okay. Hey. It's supposed okay. to be this the new 5G. A A54 5G. But hey. when I open it, I receive an A53 5G. A53. Okay. Um but when you saw the product in our physical store, uh, you can see in the in the package the image of your cell phone that you are that you uh, was buying. Yes, when <laughs> when I was in there, um, I buy I bought it, and but when you give me when when you gave to me. And with the bag, the plastic bag, I didn't, I didn't saw that you made that mistake. Oh, you, I... you buy the, do you buy, uh, the product online store, or physical store? No, physically, I, I went physically. But you can see the product, no? Of course, I saw it, uh, but when I bought. When I bought it, I saw the the one that you got in the in the tables, and okay. I choose the A fifty four. But when you give it, when you give it the 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 new one, in a in a plastic bag, I didn't saw that you made that mistake. Okay, okay, I I understand. Maybe our warehouse, uh, have the problem. When we send yes, I think it was a just a mistake because of it's only a number of difference. One okay. is fifty four, and in the one I received is the fifty three. Okay, uh, let me let me call to the supervisor Oscar for this solution because I think that is problem of our warehouse. And some people of the this department maybe can help you to give you a solution. Uh, let me call to the supervisor, please. Hey. Uh, hello, Rin Rin, Sifril, Kevin. I have a problem with a customer. Uh, some someone can I can I can help me? Hello, Kevin. Tell me, how can I help you? Hello. Oh, oh Sifrido. Uh, yeah. the, the customer is Oscar. Uh, he has a problem. Oscar, if you want, you can es explain to Sifrido uh, what's the problem, please. Ah, but you oh. are talking to the supervisor. Kevin, you had to explain Sifrido the problem. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's Sifrido. Uh, the, the did you see your reported speech? Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, the customer said, the customer told me that... Uh -huh. The customer told me that he bought um, 
a phone and the model wasn't the correct model that he bought. And then he wants that we change the cell phone because we didn't uh, give him the correct model. Okay, which model was? <laughs> uh, I remember that the model was Samsung A45 that he wanted, but we can we give gave him the Samsung A43. Okay, terrible mistake. Uh, only one question: the customer has the invoice on him. I mean the bill. Yes, he the invoice. What is the yeah. number of invoice? Invoice is two a seven. Okay. Uh, could you please verify for me is the serial number of the phone is the same printed on the invoice? Excuse me. <laughs> could you I, please? I didn't hear you. Could you please verify if the serial number of the cell phone is ah, the, the serial, same the serial, serial number, number printed is, on the bill? The serial number is four six a nine. Let me check here in the system just to to make the report of this um incident and uh, we gotta see what we can do oh, okay but can, could you hurry up please i am a little uh i have a uh, had to go to my work could you yes, be a little sure. faster sure don't worry okay here we are yes um ricardo okay here's one what we're gonna do we can do a, we can replace the the cell phone if you want to other a the, the same a model or we can give you the the refund if you want so tell me uh, for now i need a refund please okay sure i'm just uh, checking here in the system and you uh, you are going to receive the the cash on your credit card and um, you can check the transaction in a few minutes just uh, give me um just give me a sign here in this in this um um just give me a sign here please to um, have a proof of the refund and you let me hear the, the, the cell phone and you are going to receive the cash back on your credit card. Mm, can it be in cash only, please? Okay, you need the, the cash uh, right now. Yes, but I I don't need to eat it to be in in my credit card because I I want it in cash only. Um. Okay. No problem. I change it here and I just need the, your sign here to okay. do the the transaction. We're here. Yes. Please. Okay. There okay. you go. Thank you, Ricardo. And for the for the inconvenience, you are going to have um, a discount on your uh, next uh, purchase. Uh, you are going to have the fifty percent discount for the inconvenience. Uh, the the offer expires someday, or is for? Yeah, uh, you can use it. Um. And, or you can, uh, yes, you can use the discount uh, this uh, year. Only this year? 
No, no, no. One year. Uh, from today and in one year. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Ricardo, thank you. All right, time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room, everyone. Okay, time's up, time's up. How was the practice? Was it easy or difficult? Funny. 50. <laughs> Funny, 50-50. Interesting. Interesting, okay. Did you have good customers or difficult customers? Uh, difficult I customer. customers. <laughs> I have a good support. Relaxed customer. How about your um, support representative? Was a nice person or not? Yes. I'm Very nice person. person. Excellent. Excellent, Excellent service. Excellent support. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? No. No. Never. Never. Right. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, let's have a practice. I'm going to pick some people and you have to do the role plays here in the main room. However, we are going to have a surprise. Um, in this moment, I have here a magic box. <laughs> This magic bus is going to decide what kind of customer you will have, okay? Oh. So you can have a very nice customer, an angry customer, or I don't know, okay? You will have different kind. So let me pick some people. Uh, Okay, I have Edwin Antonio. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. All right, Edwin, you will be yeah. the customer, okay? Okay, teacher. And your agent representative will be... Um, Josman Atilio. Hello, Josman. I don't know if it's only me, but I can see the name there. I'm sorry? I can see the name appears there. Oh, yes. Uh, what happens is that here, these are the names in order that I can see the ones that are connected. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. In this case, uh, Josman Atilio, are you there? Yes? Yeah. Excellent. You will be the representative. Now, let's see what kind of customer you will have. Okay, Edwin, you will be... Look at this one, in a hurry customer. In a hurry means that you want everything for right now. Okay, so you have to tell them like, okay, hurry up, please. You know, I have a meeting, I cannot be here uh, can you hurry up again? And, and you have will always hurry to this representative, okay? We are okay. going to do the role play number one. You receive uh, the product, but your product is damaged, okay? Uh, so okay. The representative invents a solution, okay? Action. Okay. Ring. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Sorry, I need help you with my product because okay. it's damaged. Okay. So I just okay. okay. I need help. Okay. Sorry? What's your name, please? Your, what's your name? I'm Edwin Quinteros. Can you okay. help me, please? Thank, thank you, Edwin. Uh, welcome this the moment. Uh, attention your your report because it's an important a good service. If uh, your name is necessary because they are, they are reviewed in the in the system in the view and um, good uh, solution at your problem. Okay, so what thank you, you but I need a solution right now because my product I received yesterday, I received damage. 
Can you help okay. me with that? Because my cell phone, it's broken when I receive it. Okay. Uh, and yesterday you the buy, right? Yeah, yesterday I buy it. Uh, I bought and please need help. Can you exchange that for another one? Uh, can you return my money? Okay. Okay, Edwin. Uh, in this case, your your wife is in the online or in the store PC. So I got to a store yesterday. I went to a store yesterday. Sorry. Okay. Uh, one pre uh, one question. Uh, your buy is in online shopping or in the store? So I said you. I went to a store yesterday. Please help okay. me. I need. Exchange that cell phone. Okay, okay. Uh, one moment, please. In this moment, review the system yourself in the your information. One moment, please. Yes. Can you do it quickly because I don't time. Okay. Okay, Edwin. Jasper, uh, because in the review the system, right? Uh, your your buy your, your cell phone. In this case, the company the policy is the 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 different situation. For example, there is a substitution the product for the misma the product you buy, or your selection other model the other model the your cell phone because it's important your the good service for you. Okay, In I case, yeah? said you. Okay, I said you. Uh, I need another one, please. Can you help me with that, please? I don't need your options. Okay, the option is the. Well, in the in first case, they replace the, the similar model, right? Other situation, option is the the selection the other model in the replace that this the case. On your no uh, the question the situation is the replace or reinvolve your money the the case. This is the three solution in your no uh, quasi okay. your. I need a replace. And tell me how many times I need to, how much time I need to, for exchange that. Okay. Okay, Edwin, in this, in this moment, uh, your situation is a reporting assistant. It is the customer service. Your number is the one, two, three, four. And it's necessary your presence in the store uh, with the, uh, your product and your factory that come the buy. In this moment, uh, this solution is uh, your presence in the store. Okay, Another thank you for question. The I'm sorry? Not any one question. Okay. And this, uh, you arrive at the store in this day or tomorrow? Um, I go to a store today, right? Okay, okay, uh, uh, because the store, uh, my name is Jose Serrano in customer service. I am have the good, the, the solution, the product in the store. Okay, one okay, other question. All right, no. let's Thank stop you. there, Thank my you. goodness. Very good. All right. Thank you, Hosman. Thank you, everything. Very good. At the end, did, uh, did the customer receive a solution? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Osman is going right. to work uh, our customer service. <laughs> yes, he was very polite. Even when the customer was, hurry up, please. How much time do I need to wait? So nice, Joe. I like it. Now, Osman, pick one of your classmates, please. And Edwin, pick one of your classmates, too. Okay, Carlos Dominguez. All right, Carlos Dominguez. Are you there, Carlos? Carlos Dominguez, are you there? Okay, I think he's not there. Can you pick someone else, please? And Sifrido. Okay. Okay, Josman, you say Sifrido? Okay, Sifrido. Um, and Edwin? Yeah, Sifrido. Ana. 
Ana, very good. Okay, Sifrido, you will be a, the customer representative. Ana, you will be the customer. But let me share with you what kind of customer you will be. We have different options, everyone. Okay, Anna, you will be... <laughs> this is funny. A talkative customer. You know, talkative customer is those customers that they never stop talking. They don't let you explain. You are trying to explain, but they continue talking. Okay, so Anna, that's your role. Um, it's not necessarily that you are angry, right? No, just just talk and talk and don't let the, uh, in this case, Ifrido explain, okay? Action, read. I try. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, you have to do the second role play, okay? The ones with the policy. Um, got it. <laughs> ring. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. This is Super Oversent Lepid speaking. How may I help you? Uh, okay, I have a problem with my uh, laptop. Uh, I bought yesterday, but the camera is not correctly, and I need this uh, computer for, for side my class. And it's necessary I have my computer uh, as soon as. Okay, do you have the receipt number on you? Okay, my name is Lorena Lovato and I, bu I bought uh, the computer yesterday. Can you help me, please? Lorena, do you have the ticket number on you? Yes, uh, the number, the ticket is 12345. Okay, please give me a moment to check the ticket and I will back to you with the information. Okay, okay. I only I tell you that I need... And my computer uh, as on as because I need for my class now. Okay, Anna, please be patient. The system is a little bit slow right now. Please go on for a minute. Okay, perfect. Yes, because we, uh, I tell you I emphasize my English class uh, uh, from Monday to uh, Friday and I need my computer uh, as on as, please. Okay, no worries. Um, system is still loading. One moment, please. Okay, perfect. And uh, uh, what uh, times uh, is a uh, close your store uh, this day? Okay, this day this closes at nine p.m. So okay. we are really close to close the store today. Okay, I just have here the receipt. Uh, please confirm uh, the information. Uh, the laptop cost you about $100 and was a Dell with a super processor i11. Yes, cool. yes, uh, but in this case, I need my exchange, my computer. It's necessary that this uh, uh, situation uh, can solution this day. Okay, uh, well, we have models available for immediately exchange, just in case our policy says that you have 24 hours to do uh, expedited exchange. So in this case, we have a little problem because we are really close to the close our store. You need to run to your next store in the next 15 minutes. Yes, but I bought the computer yesterday and it's not my problem that the camera is not the correct because in your description say that uh, this camera have a uh, um, 15 megapixels and it's not my problem sorry but i need my computer for now mm -hmm. for today where's lorena calm down we can exchange the letter for you in expedited way no worries if you cannot arrive to the store today, you can arrive tomorrow morning in a wishing the computer for you, okay? Also, no worries about it because I know this is an accident and you may think we cannot do nothing about it because we have the policy for 24 hours. But at this time, we'll give you a ticket number and you will see for a sales representative on the store. Okay, you okay, can... okay, sorry, sorry, please. Can you repeat? 
your solution for my problem? Okay. In the case, if you cannot arrive today to the store, you can arrive tomorrow um, because we have our policies about 24 hours. In this case, we'll not apply because we know that the store is really, really close to close operational. Um, if you cannot arrive today to the store, you can arrive tomorrow morning. I will give you a ticket number and you will contact such representative and you will give a new and he will give you a new computer. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, in this case, uh, you exchange me my computer? Yes, in the spirit way, because the policy says we have 24 hours to do expedited exchange to customer in case the product has some issue or is some problem with some of the components. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks for your help. All right, let's just stop there. Oh my gosh. I admire the patience that Cifrido has, right? She was trying to breathe, Ay, right? <laughs> but nice, I liked it. Very good. Thank you, Lorena. Thank you, Cifrido. Very good. So, is it or difficult the role plays, everyone? What do you think? Sometimes uh -huh. difficult is depending of the kind of the customer yes. and passion of the <laughs> service. Yes, customer service, guys, is one of the most difficult jobs, in my own opinion, because you are dealing with people. And dealing with people is <laughs> difficult because, as Lorena said, I mean, we have all kind of customers, right? that are customers that they are in a hurry. We have angry customers, talkative customers that they don't stop talking, right? We have customers that eh, they are not paying attention and you have to explain time and time and time again. So yeah, it's difficult, but you are doing a great job. Nice, okay. Now, we already practiced some role plays. Now, let's relax. We are going to stop practicing role plays. And we are going to practice another topic that we studied during this unit. Do you remember another topic that we studied during this unit? Uh-huh. Imagine if I say, ah, she told me that her laptop was broken. Reported speech. <laughs> Very good. Actually, I like that in some groups, um, they were using a, oops, I'm sorry, that's my cat. Um, in some groups, they were using a supervisor and you have to talk to your supervisor and explain what the customer said, right, Kevin? In that case, Kevin was using the report yes, to speak. It was difficult, teacher, <laughs> uh, really, because we don't have a lot of practice. And we change uh, the the mind to uh, do no. sentences in reported to speech. It's some difficult. Well, uh, well, but, uh, for but me, we're doing difficult. it. <laughs> I know that it's difficult, but guys, you are doing it. So let's review a little bit the reported speech. Let's see if you remember the topic. So when we are talking about the reported speech, if you remember, we practice um affirmative, negative sentences imperatives with practice, the yes, no questions, and the double H questions. So the most important thing, guys, when we are using the reported speech is that you have to remember the grammar tense that you are going to report it. For example, let's review again. If I have a sentence in simple present, in which grammar tense do I need to report it? And simple simple past. Past. We are going to switch the grammar tense and we are going to use simple past. Oh. Now, what happens if I have a sentence in simple past? Past perfect. We are going to use past perfect. Perfect. How about if I have future? 
If you use want. should, you use would. Ah, we are going to use would. So imagine in future, if you use will, when you report it, instead of will, you have to use would. And question, what do you think, guys? What happens if I have a sentence in the present perfect? What do you think? Maybe past same, perfect. The same. Yes, in the past perfect. Okay, this is what you have to memorize. Okay, if the sentence is in simple present, let's change it into past. If it is in past or in the present perfect, let's change it to the past perfect. And if you are using will, switch into would okay now let me share with you some sentences and you have to tell me what will be the correct reported speech okay pay a lot of attention everybody look at the first one in this case it says i don't have anything to do what is the grammar tense is in simple present in past or in future Present. 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 It's in present. simple present. Okay, so what would be the best option? One, Number two, three. three. She said that she didn't have anything to do. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, definitely. If you see, we change the grammar tense into simple past. Okay. Next one, volunteer for reading, please. We we decided to leave England. What is the grammar tense here? Past. past. So what would be past. what would be the correct reported speech? Um, past perfect. Mm -hmm. In this case, one, number, two, or three. Number, number one. one. Number one, she said that they had decided to leave England. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes. Are you yes. sure? Yes. 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 With your life? Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. If you see, we have simple past. We change into past perfect. Very good. Very good. Okay, volunteer for reading, please. I love my life and our adore it so much. Very good. Uh -huh. What will be the correct report of the speech? One, two, or three? Pay attention in Number the pronoun. Two. Number two? Or so I think. He said that he loved his wife and their daughter so much. Yes. yes Are you sure? Two. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have. And yes, look at these ones. Remember, guys, we need to change the adjectives or the pronouns. In this case, look, my wife. Can I say my wife? No. No. We need it's to say his wife. He is, exactly. Can I say our daughter? No, their. Their daughter. And remember, we need to change the grammar tense. Pretty good job. Volunteer for reading, please. We will start our new company next year. What, what is the grammar tense in this sentence? It is future. 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 Simple so, future. Mm -hmm. What will be the correct reported speech? She said that the first one your new company the following year. The first Are you sure? Yes. 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 What is the mistake in the number three? Why our, number three? Our it says our and they in this case, they said that they would have started our. Mm -mm. And also the verb. If I have would, what happens to the verb? The verb in base form. Base form. Base form. Base form. No changes. Okay. Pretty good. Next one. Read, please. 
I have, have to, to go, go feed my dog. It didn't eat this morning. Thank you. Uh huh. I have to go. To to time to simple present and simple past. Yes. In this case, we have two sentences, guys. One sentence is in present, and the other sentence is in simple past. That's interesting. The first one. The first one. Yes. The first one. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? No, the the last one. The no, last uh, one. The three could it be. <laughs> okay, the yeah. first one or the last one. The last one, because the last first one. one said, "Uh, my dog," and it's not my dog. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Everybody, do you agree? Yeah. Uh, take, uh, give me a, a second teacher. <laughs> okay, read it, read it, please. Mm -hmm. Analyze. Number it. two, teacher. Number two, okay. Yes. So read carefully. Remember, we have two sentences here. We have two grammar tenses. So look at the first one said, she said that she had to feed my dog it hadn't eaten that morning. Hmm. The grammar tenses looks no kind of weird. She had because look, she had had. had. Mm. <laughs> so that means mm. past perfect, right? Okay. Yes. What about the second? She said that she had to feed her dog. Well, that sounds pretty good. It didn't eat this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second one doesn't sound good. Both are the in the of us. Number three, exactly. maybe. Number three. Okay, let's see the number three. She said that she had to feed her dog. Sounds good. It hadn't eaten that morning. Yes. Are yes. You number three. <laughs> yes. Four. Yes. Because, uh -huh. Excuse me. Um, where is the bear go? To go feed. Ah, okay. In this case, let's pay attention in these sentences, guys, because look, I have the sentence here. I have to go feed my dog. Oops. Until here, we have the first sentence. Okay. So, what is the grammar tense here? Is in present, in past, or in future? Present. present. It's in present. So, in the reported speech, we have to say it in simple past. In simple past. Now, if you see, remember what we always say in the reported speech, we can change some things, some words. In this case, if you paid attention in the reported speech, they are not using the verb go, right? They said just she had to feed. And if you see, actually, does it make sense if we omit the verb go? Do you think that? Is it still makes sense? For example, yes. I have to feed my dog. It makes yes, sense. Yes, it makes sense. Yes. So we can easily omit it in order to reduce the phrase. Of course, that this is optional. Okay. So the first sentence needs to be in simple past. Look, she said that she had to feed her dog. Pretty good. The second sentence, what is the grammar tense here? Mm. Past. Simple, past. Simple, simple past. past. So the reported speech needs to be in past oh, perfect. perfect. Past Look, perfect. it hadn't eaten. So we have the past perfect there. And don't forget that we need to change some of the pronouns, right? Her dog instead of my dog. So this sentence was. A little difficult because again we need to change different grammar tenses now look at this one this is a question do you know where my keys are just no question what do you think if i knew where her keys are yes. when I... only question <laughs> uh-huh yes no question it's a question so what will be the correct reported speech here the third. The first one. The first one or the third one? Mm, the first one. Mm, the, first mm. one. the first one, are you sure? Yeah, the first yes. one is reported speech. So in this case, guys, is a just no question or a double H yes. question? 
Yes, no. Question. Question. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Question. Okay. Do no. I need the word if in the general? Yes. 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 So, yes, that's the correct one. She asked if I, I knew. knew. We always change the grammar tense. Pretty good. How about this one? Why did you break my vase? Is that a question? Yes. yes. Boss. What Why kind of question? Break? WH. Very good. So what would be the correct reported speech? Here one. The third the one? First one? Or the um, first? Why he had the second? The first one? The second one? I, I'm listening three different options, guys. So she, decide which one. She asked why he had broke her base. Hmm. This is the, the second one. The, the first and the second. Number two. Number two? Yeah. Let's analyze. Yes. The first number, one. She asked number, why number, he had number, broke her base. Number two and number three, uh, they are similar. Uh, no, the the, uh, the chain is he had in the tree is how he ah that's a huge difference. Remember, guys, when we use reported the speech, do we need to report it as a question form or in an affirmative form? In affirmative. affirmative. And which of these ones represent affirmative? The second one. The second. One. Second one. Remember, in this case. The affirmative form is subject, verb, complement. In the third one, it's very similar, but the verb goes first. So that looks more like an affirmative sentence. Okay? A little bit confusing and tricky, but you're doing great. Look at this one. Can you help me with my car? Hmm. Mm. What will be the correct reported speech? What do you think? Is a yes no question or a double H question? Um, yes no question. question. The second no one. The second one. The second one. Okay, second. she asked if I could help her with her car. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Second. Yeah. Yes, a very good job. Excellent, excellent. Okay, the last one. I had a pet bird when I was a kid. What do you think? The third. It's here. The third one? She said that she had no. a, had had a pet when uh, she was a kid. Mm -hmm. Number three. Number three. No. No. Why not? She had her. No. Had. Is. Is the is the, wrong. Ha ha. The reported speech. Uh, the third one was maybe. perfect. The third in one. this case, remember, what is the grammar tense in this sentence? Pass. I had a pet. Pass. 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 So simple pass. The reported speech will be in? Pass participle. Pass. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. look at the first one. She had a pet. Is this past perfect? No. Oh. No. So. It's Past, okay. past, simple past. It's just simple past. Look at the number two. She said that she had a pet. Is that simple past or past perfect? Simple, simple past. past. So she had had a pet. Past perfect. It's perfect. So what is the correct answer? It's the third one. Yes. That is the one. Remember, I know that it, it looks weird to see had had in the same sentence, but remember that in this case, the first had is an auxiliary, and the second had is basically, guys, the verb in past participle. So the function is different. 
Mm -hmm. So, in this case, she said that she had had a pet when she was a kid. Do I need to change the next part into the past perfect? Yes or no? Mm, not really. In this case, not really, because it's not a second sentence. It's just a time expression. So that's why we keep it in the same form. Sorry, do you have a question? No. Is it clear, everyone? Yes. I am confused. In which one? In which one are you confusing? Which part? False. <laughs> okay, in this case, keep in mind this. If the sentence is in past, in this case, the sentence is in simple past. The rule says that you have to report it in the past perfect. And in these options, the only one that is in the past perfect is the number three. That's why that's the correct answer. Okay? Clear? 50-50? Yes. Ready for an exam? Yes. Yes. So -so. <laughs> yes. yes, you um, have to be sure about it. Okay. If you see, we have been practicing reported speech in the information questions as in the practice, guys. Remember, if you have a just no question, we need to add the word if. If, if it is a double H a question, do we need the word if? No. Not really. And the rule is the same. We always change the grammar tense. Now we are going to have a practice. It's not an exam okay but we are going to do it individually to see what your score is okay can you see the exercise everybody yes excellent okay easy in this case you just have to read a sentence and then you just have to choose what will be the correct answer for example in the number one have you met angela or angela what is the grammar tense here? Is in present, in past, in future? Mm -hmm. Present. In present? In past. In past? Past. 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 If I ask you guys, have you ever visited another country? What is the grammar tense? Past. Past. Mm, past participle? Simple no, past. Simple. No. Remember person, that person. in simple past, I say, did you? That is a simple past. But I'm using the auxiliary have. So what is the grammar tense? Past, past, past perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. <laughs> Present perfect. Present perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in this case, what will be the correct report of the speech? Have you met Angela? Okay, she asked us, had we met or if we'd met? Remember that in this case, the letter D is just the contracted form of mm -hmm. had. So what the is second the, one. the second, the second one, one? Because she needs if. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you think that this is the correct one, click on it. At the end, guys, look, there are only eight sentences. You just have to complete the sentences, choosing the correct answer, and then you have to click here in score, okay? And automatically you will see uh, how much you get. Look, honestly, in this exercise, you can see the answers, but that is not the purpose because the idea is that you practice, okay? Again, this is a practice, it's not an exam, okay? So I'm sending the link right now, everybody. I'm sending it on WhatsApp's group, but also I'm going to send it here in the chat. So everybody open up the link and complete the exercise. Try to analyze the answer and at the end, let's see what your score is.
Again, it is not an exam, it's just a practice. So don't copy, try to do it by yourself. All right. Read carefully. At the end, you will be able to see your score and how many correct answers you had. If you have a question, just let me know. Go ahead. If you have questions, just let me know, please. All right, I can see some of your classmates already finished. And actually I can see a very good score, nice. Very good. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Answer by yourself, okay? Don't copy, it is not necessary to copy. Let me know when you finish. Very good, I can see very good scores. Very good, excellent. All right, all right. I can see some people already finished. Remember, it's just a practice, it's not an exam. All right, very good job. Easy or difficult, guys? For the ones that are already finished, easy or difficult? Easy. Easy? Nice, very good job, very good job. Okay, 
While you are finishing the exercise, I'm going to check attendance one more time. So Amanda Zamora Miranda. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Elias Neftali Martinez. Okay, Eulice Torres Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose Siguenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Okay, okay. Eh, Oscar Alexis Lara. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Uh, Pamela Carolina Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, let's see, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Cifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Perez. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Present. Excellent, very good. All right, so everybody finished the, the practice? Yes? All right, if you haven't finished, you can continue doing it, please. Again, guys, this is a practice. And so far, so good. I can see very good scores. Nice. So we are going to have the last speaking practice. Um, in this case, we are going to do it individually. I'm going to ask some questions. We are going to report the question. And also, we are going to report the answer. Uh, I have here different celebrities. Pick someone, please. Uh huh. Which one? Everybody? Pick someone. Pick a celebrity. The ones that you prefer. The Rock teacher. The Rock. Okay. So let's start with the questions. So look at the first question. This man says, what's your wife's name? What could be a reported speech? Be here. What is the question? So we can say he asked or she asked. Mm -hmm. What's your wife's name? What will be the report of the speech? Volunteer, please. Imagine that the reporter, hay un reportero haciendo las questions. So what is the report of the speech? What did he ask? He What's asked, your wife's name? Ah, he asked what can I say is? Hmm. What was? What was her name? What my name was his wife's name. What is wife's name? Very her name? Mm -mm. In this what case is his. Because the questions goes for him. Yeah. So in this case, he said, uh huh. What did he said? He asked. Mm, this is the answer. Mm. He, he said, said that he, 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 he was Lauren. 
he said that no, he was he wife name his wife's name was Lauren very good now the second question is where were you born what did he say uh -huh. he said that he say that he he had been he had been born for California. He said that he had been born in California. Very good. Now I will be asking individually. Let me pick someone. Kevin Alexander. Okay, mm -hmm. Kevin, I have one brother and one sister. What did he say? Um, he said, he said uh, <laughs> uh, that he, uh, he had had one brother and one sister. He had had? <laughs> um, no, only had. Ah, had. only had, had, because it's in simple present, we change it into simple past. Again, Kevin, what did he say? He said that he had one brother and one sister. That's it. Kevin, pick one of your classmates. Um, I'll pick the other Kevin. Oh, they, okay, other Kevin. <laughs> what did he say? My hobbies are exercising and fishing. What did he say? Uh, he said that he hobbies was exercising and fishing. Mm, can you repeat one more time? He said that his ah uh, my yes his hobbies uh, was mm. where. Where, Where? And fishing. That's the one. Remember, it's in plural. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we're exercising where and fishing. Nice. Very good. Kevin, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Rafael. Rafael. Look at this one. I can't play the piano. What did he say? Uh, Rafael, are you there? Um, he said, uh, he, he can't play the piano. Mm, he can't. He could. Uh, he could. Remember, he could. simple past. So he could, he could, could. or couldn't. Couldn't. Ah, very good. He said he couldn't play, play the piano. Very good. That's the one. So, guys, I know that this is a little bit confusing, but remember, switch the grammar tense. In this case, if it is in present, again, in which grammar tense do I need to switch it? Simple past. In simple past. Okay. If I have simple past, what is the grammar tense that I need to change it? Past perfect. Past mm. participle. Mm. Past, past perfect. perfect. <laughs> um, be careful. Past perfect is the name of the grammar tense. Okay. Past participle is the name of the verb. Okay. That is like the little difference. Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time, everybody. We are going to continue practicing tomorrow. But uh, listen, everyone, this is a topic that we have to practice every single day in order that you don't forget it, okay? Now, uh, just a reminder, work on the platform. Today, we are finishing the unit number two. So today, the idea is, is that you have to finish the unit number two and the midterm. Tomorrow, we start the unit number three. So on the platform, you need to be working. 
in the unit number three, okay? Now, as always, we have a winner for tonight. And the winner is, well, I think that the winner is not here. Osman is not here, right? Okay, so we are going to change to Pamela Carolina. So Pamela, you are the winner for tonight. You had to stay. The rest of you, you are free to go. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night, take care. All right, all right. Okay, hello Pamela, how are you? Hello, I'm great teacher. How was your day? It was um, very calm, a very calm day because today I am um, I was here in home office, so I didn't get out of my <laughs> house. <laughs> That's something good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you avoid the traffic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Good for you. All right. Do you know that this meeting is just to clarify some of my questions that you may have, uh, some doubts, or some comments that you want to share? So this is your moment. Do you have any questions? Um, maybe what we were reviewing today that uh, the report is speech because mm -hmm. it's a little confusing sometimes um but uh, we you you do write the in a little chart the the switch that we have to do so we not we we if if the sentence is in simple present we have to change it in simple past. Correct. If it's past in past perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, if it's in future, uh, we change it uh, will for would. Correct. And the the last one I think is present perfect right yes if it is in present perfect we are going to switch into if it if it's in present perfect in past perfect yes always okay. mm -hmm. so in that case uh, it's the same as in the simple past we go and change it into the past perfect mm -hmm. okay and and i was in here the um, the reported speech to to imperatives mm -hmm. um i i don't remember how how is the um, the structure Ah, okay. Let me share an example. With the imperatives, actually, is easier, I think, because remember that, first of all, in the imperatives, we don't have a subject. So, for example, mm -hmm. if I say stand up, what is the grammar tense? Is in present, in past, or in future? Mm, present. It's in present. So that is something easy, because with the imperatives, they are always in simple present. So okay. when we use a reported speech here, basically you don't need changes. You just have to say, okay, she asked me, for example, and then the only things that you need to do is to add infinitive verb. In this case, she asked me to. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And if it is in negative, for example, don't, uh, don't stand up, is basically the same. She asked me, what do you think? What is next? She asked me not to stand up. That's all, not to stand up. So in this case, we don't have like um, some difficulties because it's always in infinitive. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the rule is infinitive. Yes, okay. basically that. Mm -hmm. 
So we don't need to change the grammar tense. We don't need to change the subject because we don't have subject. So it's yeah. just that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I think I think that um, the little questions because the report speech is. Is is a little confusing when you have to switch and I know. <laughs> to to think if it's a question, if it's an answer. In the grammar the tenses. tenses. Yes, I know. Yes. In the report of the speech is one of the most difficult topics, actually. Yes, yes. So I I I have a, an idea, but but sometimes I I don't know. But I think I. I'm trying and I, I get it. That's good. And yeah, I think that in order that you and your classmate don't forget a topic, um, during the next classes, maybe I can take at least five minutes in order to review it or have like a very quick practice so we can still refresh the information and we don't forget it. Okay? Okay. Pretty okay. good. Do you have any other question? Um, no, teacher. I think I'm... I'm good. Excellent. Okay, according to the feedback that I have for you, basically, well, you always participate in the class when you're here, so that's good. Uh, with the platform, I can see that you got 100% in the unit number one, so that's a perfect score. Um, but you haven't finished the unit number two, and yes. you haven't taken the midterm. So please try to take them as soon as possible so you can start the unit number three. That is the only observation. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes, I'm going to work uh, today and tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And remember, if you find some exercises like a little bit confusing, take a screenshot and you can send it to me and I will help you with that. Okay. Okay, teacher. Nice. All right. Thank you so much for staying, Pamela. Keep going. You are doing a great job. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.